Hey guys, welcome back to a brand new video. If you're new to my channel, my name is Jaime and I'm the proud owner of an e-commerce agency transforming online brands into market leaders. Today, I've got such an exciting video for you guys today because I'm gonna be sharing with you how you can build a six-figure social media marketing agency starting with zero digital marketing experience. And the reason why I wanna to put together this video for you guys is because I see so many people get so bogged down and limited by the idea and the belief that just because they don't know much about digital marketing that they can't start their social media marketing agency. And in this video, I'm gonna be sharing with you three secret strategies that you can use to completely bypass that beginner limiting belief and get you started with your social media marketing agency and on the path to build a six figure SMMA. These three strategies are the ones that I personally used to start my agency when the only time I'd heard about a funnel was in chemistry class. So very excited for this video. I think it's gonna help a ton of you who are wanting to start an online business like social media marketing agency, which in my opinion is by far the best one to start, but you're just afraid that you don't know quite enough. So again, super excited for this. And without further ado, let's get right into it. Now, the first thing that I wanna do before I get into the first strategy is I wanna empathize because I've been where you're at currently, right? And there's so much to learn that can be quite daunting, right? I'm talking chatbots, I'm talking funnels, I'm talking tracking, I'm talking media buying, I'm talking copywriting, I'm talking creatives. There's so much out there, right? And I feel like what stops a lot of people is that, right? Is the paradox of choice. There's so much out there that you can't quite focus your energy and time and attention on one single thing. And so what has truly helped me and, and truly helped me at the beginning of my journey, and I helped my students a ton as well, and what I wanna share with you, the first thing that I wanna share with you in this video is the fact that you wanna make sure you pick one single vertical. Focus on one single thing. Yes, becoming a full stack, well-rounded digital marketer is an incredible skill. And over the past six months, as I've developed into that person, it truly does give you quite an edge over other competitors. But at first, just focus on one single thing and being the best at that very narrow niche thing. Because when most people get started in the online business space and try to master so many things, that is why I don't recommend dropshipping or even worse, starting an e-commerce brand when you're first starting out because there's so many intricacies and nuances and different aspects of the business that you need to master. Instead, with social media marketing agency, you don't need to offer social media management and Facebook ads and Google ads and SEO and a bunch of, you know, 100 different other services. You just need to do one single thing very well. And what I would say, and once you've picked your vertical, it could be, for example, Facebook ads, or it could be, for example, TikTok ads, right? I recommend that you create a very, very irresistible offer. And I would argue that drafting your irresistible offer and putting more time into understanding your core audience and your dream prospects, it's actually gonna give you more of an edge than actually being an expert at a bunch of different services. And I will dive further into that in just a bit. But for now, what I want you to take away from this first strategy is focus on one single thing, and that will give you the biggest edge when you're starting out and will allow you to turbocharge your results with your agency. So that is the first point and on to the second point. The second thing you wanna do is you wanna go ahead and smash the like button. Go ahead and drop a big thumbs up on this video. The YouTube algorithm just loves when that thing turns blue. And so I'd really appreciate it. And with that being said, let's get right into point number two. Point number two is what I call the Elon Musk advantage. Now, what do I mean by that? Elon Musk is a very smart guy and he does a lot of things very well. But one of the things that really stands out to me that he does is he finds a way to surround himself with very, very smart people who far exceed him when it comes to capabilities and knowledge on specific areas. And he leverages these people to create some of the most innovative companies in the game. Now, his advantage is knowing what people he needs in his team and finding these people but these people teach him so much and actually iterate the company into something even better. And so let's go ahead and apply that to your agency. What you wanna do when you first start out is leave your ego at the door and put your hands up and say, I don't know much about the service that we just picked, right? So it could be, I don't know much about TikTok ads. So what am I gonna do? I'm gonna go ahead and start learning as much as I possibly can in my free time and start absorbing as much information as I possibly can to become an expert myself but I'm also gonna seek out other experts who have been doing this for years, in the example of TikTok ads, probably for months, right? But I'm gonna seek their knowledge because maybe they do this every single day for eight hours a day. And so there's no way in the world that I'm gonna be able to get to their level unless I work for eight hours a day every single day for a year. And so you go ahead and seek out these people. You have these people join your team as a contractor or as a freelancer, right? And they will take care of your service delivery, okay? Now, it doesn't stop there. Once they start running the ads for your clients, obviously you have a core understanding of what the benefits, the outcomes, and the way the service works, but now you start asking them questions. 
And this is what Elon Musk does very, very well. And if you watch some of his interviews, he talks about this all the time. The fact that he's constantly asking uh, his engineers questions, right? He's constantly asking questions and absorbing as much information as he possibly can. And that's why he has a very good level of understanding about a lot of different topics. He might not be engineer level, right? And, and that might not be his expertise, but he understands how it works. He could probably pop in and help out that team. So when you start your agency, surround yourself with smarter people who can do the service for you and constantly ask questions. And that's going to be a great source of knowledge. The final thing that I will say on this Elon Musk concept is to get your hands dirty. So let's just imagine that you onboard a client and you've had this client for around two months. During these two months, you've learned everything you possibly could. You have asked questions and you feel confident about TikTok ads and your ability. The thing is now you have to actually translate that into action because you could feel very confident about your abilities until you actually implement it and put it in action. So I would urge you to get your hands dirty in parallel to the, the person that's doing your service delivery, to your contractor, to your freelancer. And that's where you're going to see an exponential growth. Once you've not only learned from the contractor and other sources of information during that whole time, but now you decide, okay, I'm going to get my hands dirty and I'm going to run a campaign myself or run just like a little ad set myself, or I'm gonna write some ad copy for some of the ads, right? Getting your hands dirty, not just doing the sales and the ecosystems and the communication and the team reporting, which is very, very important, but also getting your hands a bit dirty when it comes to service delivery, just to test yourself. You don't have to take over, right? And it's not really for that purpose, but it's just to give you that confidence that yes, you can actually do that service. And so within three months, you've learned a ton from your contractor, You've also learned a ton from other sources and you've also gotten your hands dirty. And so right now you're at a level where you're confident. Yes, you might not be the expert that your contractor is and you shouldn't. If you are, then I'd be a bit concerned. Okay. But you are confident about your service and your growth curve has been exponential, much, much steeper if you had decided to learn all this stuff before even getting your hands dirty because action trumps knowledge for the sake of knowledge. Knowledge. So that is that for the second point and now onto the final point. Now, the final strategy that you need to keep in mind to start your six figure SMA with zero digital marketing experience to start with is you need to let the market do the talking. It is heartbreaking. And I'm telling you guys this because this happened to me, right? It is heartbreaking when people just assume that the market is interested in a certain topic or a certain concept or a certain service, right? And this person learns all about that service, all about those concepts. And then they take around six months to learn that concept. Now they go to market and the market doesn't need or want that concept anymore or that service, or it's just completely outdated and out of face. Now I'm not saying this will happen for the core services like Facebook ads, SEO, or Google ads. These services are probably going to be around for a while, maybe three, five years, right? Maybe 10 years potentially. So it might not be out of date or out of face, but to sell the service, which is what we're interested in, right? Because we're not going to be delivering the service ourselves, right? We're going to be providing an incredible client experience right? Client service as well, not through us, but through our team, as well as signing clients. But to actually sell the service, you probably need to know much less than you actually think. And the reason why this is because most prospects do not care about the esoteric and the intricacies of the actual service. They care about mainly the benefits, the outcomes, and they care about you. Do they trust you and your team? They're not going to quiz you. Sure, if you're talking to a marketing director or a chief marketing officer, the conversation may be more marketing related, Right? And they may generally test your knowledge, but even then they're not going to go to the length of testing you about the very nuanced concepts of Facebook ads or whatever service you are offering. So that's the final thing that I want you guys to keep in mind. And one of the things that I did in my opinion very well is that I let the marketing tell me what I needed to know. I'm not saying I jumped on calls completely clueless, which was the service that I was offering at that time, but I had a pretty basic understanding. And every time I would jump on a call and I would feel like I would need to know something better, then after that call, I wouldn't be part hurt that I didn't get the deal because I knew that was part of the process, but I would go back and study that concept much more in depth. So that's really the final thing that I want you guys to take away from this video. Jump on those calls with a core understanding, with a basic understanding, leverage your team and, and focus on one single thing and then let the market teach you. Right? Let the market tell you what you actually need to know more of, and then you can go back and restudy really those concepts. So then your understanding of the service becomes stronger and stronger over time. So that is that for this video, guys. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and drop a big thumbs up. I really appreciate it. My team and I work relentlessly to put out these videos and the concepts, the editing and all that stuff. So we'd really appreciate it. Also leave down below in the comments any questions you may have on this video. And the final thing is if you haven't checked out my free masterclass on how to sign and keep four-figure retainer SMA clients, go ahead and check it out. There's nothing for sale. And literally people are implementing the, the strategies, templates, scripts that are covered in there to sign clients for their agency. So the link will be in the bio. And as always, guys, hope everything's going well in your agency journey, and I will see you in the next one. Peace.